Hey everyone, Mitch at the Trek Bike Store here on Catherine Street. Uh, Jesse was just in and he was just asking me about the differences between a road bike and a gravel bike. All right. Gravel okay. becoming a really popular genre of bike these days. So why a gravel bike? What is, how is it different from a road? So we'll start with a road bike. This is uh, Cervelo's R3. It's their all-around classic road bike. Wonderful climber, nice handling bike. I really enjoy this one actually. Uh, this particular one is an Altegra Di2 bike, so really nice one. But uh, so on this guy, we've got of course as a road bike, narrower tire, slick tire. Relative to the gravel bike, it's a lower front end. It's going to have a shorter wheelbase. That is the distance between the two axles is going to be shorter than a gravel bike. So it's going to make it change direction more quickly than a gravel bike. Um, and the head angle and seat tube angle will also be a little steeper. So that is to say that. The bike's rolled forwards more, you're more aggressive, you're over the front end of the bike more. So really sharp handling compared to the gravel bikes, uh, quicker on the pedals, snappier acceleration, really nice handling. Um, typically on a road bike you won't see any kind of allowance for, there'll be fewer allowances made for comfort, it's more about the performance, like lightweight, nice stiff frames. Um, let's, let's grab a gravel bike out. This one looks pretty cool. Okay. Okay, so now, now this is a gravel bike. So now we've got a, the new checkpoint from Trek. Um, really, really nice all rounder. So compared to the road bike, again, like things we see, the head angle and seat tube angle, a little bit slacker to deal with the bumps and things you're going to encounter off road. Longer wheelbase, again, the distance between the two axles. Actually, on this bike, as you can see, it's actually got an adjustable wheelbase, so you can tighten the, the wheelbase up to make it handle a little sharper or lengthen it for greater stability. But off road, longer wheelbase just makes it track a little bit better through the rough stuff. Similar to the Damani, which we've seen in a previous video. Um, these guys have the ISO speed decoupler, so basically allows for a little bit of suspension in the frame, giving you greater comfort when you're off-road. Gravel bikes will also come with a much greater tire clearance. You can run really high volume tires, buy you a lot of comfort or traction off-road. You can typically they'll typically come with stays, you can run racks, you can do some light touring with these bikes. They're a good commuter. Probably the most versatile road style bike that's out there right now. They're a really nice choice for someone who wants one bike to do it all. What are we looking at weight, weight difference wise? Weight wise, you're these are definitely heavier than the, like the equivalent road bike. So say if you're looking at a 105 gravel carbon bike and a 105 um, carbon road bike, you're going to pay a pound, pound and a half premium for the weight there. Price wise? Uh, gravel bikes price wise Starting at the aluminum models around 1500, uh, you can get into carbon in around the mid threes, and you know five thousand dollars gets you a full Tegra, full carbon spec bike. So really nice. Cool. And uh, yeah, if you want to check out gravel bikes ever here at the Trek store or on Catherine Street next to the Spinnaker's Brew Pub, and you can find out how to get a hold of us uh, below this video. We found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead